clearly uh, enjoying his time already here in Coventry, hit the ground running in the, those first two matches. Graham Dopp though, very, very experienced, world champion 2006, tough match player, he's also two out of two so far. And that's an excellent pot to start with, that white was uh, pretty close to the bulk cushion. Table uh, two about to start will be uh, Judd Trump against Ricky Walden. Graham Dot, one. Lee Hang is having his best ever season. He got to the semi-finals of the China Championship, the quarter-finals of the World Open. He's earned £86,000 this season already. Graham Dock, though, uh, not having the best of campaigns. He's not been beyond the last 16 of a ranking tournament. So far, anyway. He's the man with all the experience here, Dot. 40 years of age, Lee Hang 27. And already he's got him on the back foot here. Dot now 28th in the rankings. So there's only actually eight places between them. Doc trying to keep this young man out because as I say Lee Hang's already had two centuries in each of the matches he's played both in the first frame of those matches Uh, good safety in return. Looks like he snookered Dot on all the reds.
been the season really where the Chinese contingent have made their move. Ding Junhui, he did win the World Open, but other than that, he's uh, not pulled up many trees this season. But between them, plenty of other Chinese players have done well. We've seen Yan Bing Tao and Chao Yu Peng reach ranking finals. And quite a few other players reach semi finals, including this young man, Li Hang. And he's in. And interestingly, it was his good safety that forced that opening. One. So, you know, the tactical side, you would back Graham Dot, but Li Hang there playing a good safety to force this opening. And we'll now see what he can do. Remember, Li Hang has not lost a frame yet today. He's played 6-1-6. Six, six. And this is already a good chance to score again heavily here in the first frame. Twenty-eight. Four. Forty one.
Uh, so far, so good. 42. Break reaches 42. The red at the bottom of the cluster pots to this left corner. And there's a red, obviously, below the black that pots also to that left corner. Just settled so quickly in this tournament, never played in it before. I'm sure someone's had to explain how it all works, because it's a very different format to all the other tournaments on the circuit, but just has settled in immediately and seems to be completely at home here at the Rico in Coventry. But he's now faced with a very testing pot on this black. Doesn't have to play it. I mean, it's a very thin cutback. He may just play safe, wait for a better chance. Brown. That's what he's doing. Still a good 47 to lead by 42. The brown safe for a bit of security. And cue ball on the bulk cushion. Yeah, it was a good safety and it's worked. He's got this red now to the left middle to continue. Good chance to win this opening frame then. Forty-eight in front. Six. Sixty-seven on. Still needs a couple of reds, including this one from distance. And it's a little bit of a stretch. Seven. Potted it very nicely. been very impressive in this opening frame in all departments the safety the potting and the general poise as well of Lee Hang so this red is effectively to win his seventh frame in a row today here in the sixth oh. group of championship league very impressive start by Lee Hang Well, if he's not on the red, 22. then there is a little bit of hope for Dot. There's two snookers needed. He's having a good look to see if he can pot this. In fact, uh, 64 in it, 51 on. So, in fact, it's four snookers needed. So, even though he couldn't pot it, I think Dot will stay in his seat. Well, he in fact, he's got out of his seat. <laughs> but he's a long way back here. 64, the difference. 51 on. Needs this black in, otherwise it's Lee's frame for sure. Yeah, he's conceded having missed the black, so Lee Hang has very impressively won the opening frame here. 7 frames in a row he's won now in this group. Yet to lose one.
Now then, at table two is Judd Trump and Ricky Walden. Just kicked off here. Trump was one of Lee Hang's victims. He lost 3-0 to him earlier on. Walden beat Ben Wollaston 3-1 in, it's got to be said, a rather low-quality match. But he won. These two, of course, are survivors from the previous group. In fact, Trump came in in group four. Lost in the semis there to Ali Carter. And in the semis last night. As well to the man he's playing now, Ricky Walden. Frame two. It's Graham Doctor. Graham Doctor breaking frame two. He trails Lee Hang 1 0. Remember, they both played 2 1 2 so far, so these two have been setting the pace in this group. Well, a big early shot coming up here <coughs> from the blue into the reds, get them scattered. They've scattered nicely. The only thing here is the black has now just run out of commission. But pink and blue available. Reds spread, so definite chance to rack up a sizable break. Twenty two. One thing Graham Dot does not lack for is determination. 20. And also Bottle. He's been in three world finals. You don't succeed at the Crucible without having a great temperament. Of course, he won the title 2006, but was also runner up 2004 and 2010. 35. Beat Judd Trump in this season's UK Championship. Played fantastically well in that match. 36.
43. So it's not taking him long to already approach the half century. Got the reds open very early on in this break. 49. Sixty-three. So not much more to do to secure the frame. <coughs> and now he's got those three reds open. He should do that. This pink and one snooker needed, but he'll want another red to make absolutely sure. It's been a very swift kill from Wee Dotty in this frame. Long red. And he's made the frame winning contribution. He's 2 0 down to Michael White last match, but came back to win 3 2. Seventh. Judd Trump's won the first frame, by the way, against Ricky Walden on table two. Well, a very classy break, this, from Graham Dot. Remember, there's a £500 high break price for each group. At the moment, we've had two centuries, both from Lee Hang, 103 the highest, but 86. Dot can uh, set a useful target here. Black for the century. What a great break it's been. Never really in any trouble. Has kept tight control of that cue ball. And has won the frame in a single visit. 101. Every credit to Graham Dot. And if you can clear these colours, a 1.36, as I say, that's a good target for the high break prize. £500. Could be his tomorrow night. And what's been noticeable as well about this break is how quickly he's compiled it. He's flying around the table. He's got this kind of reputation as being a slow player, which is completely undeserved. A lot of it stems from the world finally win against Peter Ebden, which got very bogged down, but... Takes two to tango, and also it was a massive occasion. But Graham Dot can play real quick, and that, he's doing that here.
23. Well, a terrific break this. Black for a 136 total clearance. Well, that's just excellent from Graham Dot. It really is a very classy total clearance. 136, and he levels up with Lee Hang in no time at all at one frame apiece. As I say, he was never really in any difficulty there. No trouble, just kept the cue ball on a piece of string. Judd Trump and Ricky Walden on table two. Trump's won the first frame here. He lost his first match, of course, to Lee Hang. Ricky Walden beat Ben Wollaston in his match, 3-1. Trump flew in the round-robin phase in group five, but lost in the semis to Walden last night. So he's in early stages of the second frame, leading 1-0 as uh, referee Craig Coniglio sets them up ready for frame three. Lee Hang had no sort of looking at all in that frame. First frame, of course, he's lost in this tournament. The third frame, Lee Hang to break. Double kiss, as ever dreaded. And, well, just look at the chance this is. And Lee Hang with the chance to bounce right back with a big break of his own. He's already got reds open. He's got the black on its spot. We know he's playing well from the way he started this group. So, Dot uh, sort of sitting down with a bit of resignation, actually. <coughs> Worried that what he's just done to Lee Hang, Lee Hang's going to do to him. Already a high quality match this. Eight. Nine. Seventy. Well, a little uh, sort of shrug of the shoulders there. Just it seems they're all covering one another here. It looks like he's not actually on a red. Well, he's looking at a, a plant, but they're quite a distance apart, these two reds. Now, that's nicely done. 
five. He had to get that really, believing probably the red second of the two reds if he missed the plant, but he didn't miss it and he's still going. Thirty two. <coughs> well, this is uh, it's a bit higher on the blue than intended. Still taking it to the middle, though. Be unlucky not to be on a red. Well, he's unlucky, I think. Don't think he's on one. 46. Just needed to land on one there. That's probably frame over. Because we look where the reds are and the way he's playing. You'd back him strongly, but it's not worked out for Lee Hang. Break standing at 46. problem he's got there's nothing safe he's not got a colour on a cushion or a red on a cushion or any security so although it's a useful lead it's not beyond the realms that if Doc got back in he could clear up and go in front himself 2-1 just at a 136 Doc remember yeah he was a bit unlucky there Lee Hang just needed to as I say land on a red but it just didn't happen now looking for safe spot for that cue ball somewhere down the bolt end on the cushion try and obviously cut off the red near the cut near the uh, right corner pocket Well, he's got the white to the cushion, which is what he was attempting, but the red still pots. It's one good pot from Dot, and he could be right back in contention in this frame. Oh, he's been unlucky here. This could be in the pocket. That's unlucky. Foul. Lee Hang, four. It's one of those things that can happen in this game that can be so frustrating. mistake from the Chinese it's called it a bit thicker than intended so dot 
is in with a chance to claw back some of this deficit. 50 points behind as he came to the table, but look at the Reds. Pretty much exactly where he wants them. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Help! I can't hear. Incredible, it's not on the red. And that sort of laugh is a rather a bittersweet one. That's really frustrating. Rim dot, 31. Bit of a let-off though for Lee Hank. Well, it's suddenly got a bit cagey now, this frame. There's 19 points in it. Lee Hang in front. Everything is awkward now, so it looks like he's just going to play the little snooker. So the snooker has yielded another chance for Dot. It's all going to be about those two reds, though, down the left-hand side. 
one. developing those if he's going to win the frame at this visit. Well, the problem there is he got too close to the pot, which is why it stayed in the jaws. <coughs> Dot's problem is that the remaining red is still safe. So it's all about the last red. The colours are on their spots. So whoever pots this red is favourite for the frame. There's only nine points in it. Lee Hang here led 50 nil at one stage. He was unlucky when he went into the reds and earlier and didn't land on one. Oh, he needs this to run though. It's a massive mistake. He may have well have gifted this frame to Dot now. One. <coughs> Looks like it. into the cue ball there so he needs the rest for this green points level 50-50 wow you'll be so annoyed it's over screwed the yellow that's why he needed the rest for the green no. now has he left the pot on Li Hang just had a a look from the other end. He's having a look from this end now. It's obviously tight. It's a great chance for Dot when Lee left the red to the middle. An unexpected chance, I suspect, for Li Hang, but the cue ball has kept running, and uh, this is not straightforward now. That white close to the side cushion. Straight on the brown, just tried to roll it in. He hasn't done that. So a rather sloppy end, you've got to be said, to this frame after a high quality start. Yeah. 
what it all means is that Dot needs brown, blue and pink to lead 2-1. Well, he's got an extension on an extension. <laughs> he's got everything on this. Well, this is uh, a lot of cue here. Got to try and hold it steady for this brown. Played it well. If anything, just run on a little further than intended, though. Oh. Wanted to be slightly the other side of the blue. So it may have to be a, a longish pink for the frame. First things first, let's roll this blue in. Nine. An eventful frame of snooker. They each had chances at the end on the colours. Graham Dot needs the pink to lead 2 1. Lee Hang peeking round to see if he pots it. In it goes, struck it nicely. 50. So and the frame. he trailed 50 nil at one stage, but Graham Dot has won the third frame. He's won the last two frames, in fact, to lead Lee Hang 2 1. <coughs> Went wrong for Lee Green to Brown. He just left himself a, a tough brown on that side cushion. Table two is Judd Trump against Ricky Walden. 1-0 to Trump. And uh, Walden needs a snooker on the last red in frame two. Judd Trump has won the Championship League three times and always seems to play well in the group phase. But last two groups has lost in the knockout phase. Ali Carter beat him in group four. Ricky Walden here group beat him last night in group five. She needs two snookers there, so Trump favourite for the frame and a 2-0 lead. So just waiting for uh, Lee Hang here, and we can get frame four on the way. 2-1 to Dot. He's looking to win his third straight match. He's got one more to play actually today against Judd Trump. This is Lee Hang's last match of the of the day. He'll have three to play tomorrow. Dot will have two to play in the group phase, and then the playoffs tomorrow night. Top four course in the table, with just one more group to come after this one. And then, of course, the final winners group. Just to remind you already through to that winners group, we've got Zhu Yu Long, Mark Selby, Ali Carter, Karen Wilson, and Mark Williams. Already a high quality lineup. Four of the five players, in fact, are in the top 16 in the world rankings. Frame four. Graham Dot. Well, frame three was in the balance. It could have gone either way. It went the way of Graham Dot. He leads 2 1, and he's one more frame for victory as he breaks off here in the fourth. He's won the last two frames. Although. Uh, Two very different frames. One was a total clearance of 136. The other was uh, a bit scrappier, a bit closer. Won it on the pink, though. Lee Hang will be ruining the missed chances that he had.
just to uh, confirm Trump won that frame against Walden so he leads 2-0 oh what a pop from Graham Dot that's from right from the top draw and he's on the pink Well, he's looking to get into the cluster there. In fact, he just caught one red full in the face, so it wasn't quite as intended. Played a very positive shot, but didn't get into the meat of the cluster of that pack of reds. Could still take this red on, though, by the blue. He seems in that sort of mood today, Dot. Another cracking pot, and now he's high on the blue with another chance to get into the reds. He's clearly said he's stall out here to go on the attack. It's great to see Graham Dot when he's in this sort of mood. We saw it in the second frame, he made that 136 total clearance. The only thing here is the red to the left of the black stopping the black going into that corner. He goes to the other corner, but pink also in an awkward spot at the moment. So this is not straightforward here. And he's lining this one up to the far corner, the green pocket. Holding for the pink to the middle. Oh, but the red's not in. Graham Dot, 30. Well, this could get a bit cagey with the red over the pocket. Neither player will want to leave that on, so it could be a bit of a bad of safety here. Well, he's not happy because he didn't get the cue ball tight to the black. He's trying to snook a lee on all the reds, and he hasn't done that. That's why he sort of marched back to his seat rather disgusted. But as I said, when that red went over the green pocket, it's going to get cagey because obviously both players are going to protect any kind of pot on it. Looks though that like Lee Han can get through to the shred. Oh, 
over the pocket. Well, Lee Hang scored heavily today. He's had two century breaks in his first two matches. And this is looking like a great chance to potentially level the match and force a decider. Five. We played the cannon there to open everything up, but I don't think he's finished on anything to the corner. He's got the red to the right middle. Well, I think he's looking at another plant. He, po he potted one earlier to the other left, to the uh, other corner pocket. Could not have struck that better. Very sweetly struck. Went. So it's starting to look like we're going all the way in this match. It's been... Very attacking game they both played, they've both gone for their shots. I think Dot there in his seat is uh, mentally preparing himself for a decider. I'm sure he expects Li Hang to do enough to win this frame. But you also have to prepare yourself for the possibility that he won't and that you'll be coming back. Forty-four. Leads by thirty-one. Fifty-one. 
52. Sixth. Blue puts him 52 in front with 59 on, so he needs another red in addition, and it should be 2 2 and heading into a decider. taken these well as Lee Hang already confident of course having won 3-0 in both his first two matches against Michael White and then Judd Trump and that is the winning ball in this frame 66 one more to decide it then now then can he make his third century of the day First things first. 69. Seventh. Seventy-three. <coughs> Seventy-four. <coughs> So he's a good pot on this red to keep the century attempt 18. on target. Not to be, but an excellent 81 from Lee Hang. And the most important thing is he's levelled the match at 2-2. Two -two. So the decider between these two will decide who takes a third successive point and who loses their first match of the day. <coughs> it's been a good match and looking forward to one more frame. Now then, Ricky Walden trying to fight back on table two. He's 2-0 down to Judd Trump. Not much in it in frame three here. Trump's got two more matches to play tonight on table two. He plays Ben Wollaston and Graham Dot. Walden's got one more match to play. That'll be on table one against Martin Gould. And then he's got three more tomorrow in the group phase. Trump, two more. But Trump uh, not having it all his own way like he was in group five when he was really buzzing in the round robin phase, as indeed he was in the previous group, group four. Meanwhile, it's 2-2 here after that 81 break from Lee Hang. A little handshake before the deciding frame. The fifth and deciding frame. Lee Hang to break.
<coughs> yeah, good pace on the cue ball. It's got the white on the bulk cushion and a little tap of appreciation from Graham Dot there, did Lee Hank. Although Dot's been knocking all sorts of balls in, long balls in in this match. So his safety's got to be good. Well, he's forced an error. I just caught the brown there, didn't want that. Stop the white coming back towards the reds. Judd Trump, meanwhile, has just beaten Ricky Walden 3-0, so Trump wins his first match of this group. Well, looks like he's uh, still lining this red up. Graham Dot standing up to see if he's going to pot it. He is. <coughs> Graham Dot sits back down again. Cracking pot.
He's had a good look here. It seems there is a plant to this left corner. 25. And it's opened everything up. What a chance now then for Li Hang to claim his third successive point in this Group 6 of Championship League. He's got reds everywhere. It's been a high quality match. Can Lee Hang deliver a high quality finish? Well, he's shaking his head, but he's still on this red to the corner. Third. Even if he didn't quite get on the red to the middle as intended, he's got this one. Oh dear, but he's lost his way in quite a big way. 31. He'll be so annoyed because it was a golden chance that to take out the match. He's shaking his head. And the problem now, of course, is the red's going everywhere. It's finding a, a safe spot for the cue ball. Well, he tried to pot his way out of trouble. Lee Hang, 31. It's not finished too bad for Lee Hang. It's not left anything easy on. But Dot, uh, I think he's lining up the long red. He's knocked a few in today in this match. Not that one though. Just flicked off the red near the pocket. <coughs> Li Hang leading by 31 then in this deciding frame. Well, this is risky. That red near to the middle. Is there a gap between the two reds? That was a really risky shot. So Graham Dot in, in the decider. Lee Hang's already had a good chance. What? Now he's in his seat, wondering if he's gonna get another. Needless to say, that could have finished better for the Scotsman. Still on this red, though.
Sana. Eighty. Four. Well, it just starts to get more complicated now. All the remaining reds are on cushions. Twenty-five. <laughs> well, I just couldn't get anywhere near it, so. Points uh, are level, 31. but an awkward table now. Well, that's not great. If he's left the red on, that's not great at all. And I think the way he's walking back to his chair suggests he has. Well, that was a definite chance for Lee Hang. So, uh, a rather edgy finish here, just one point in it in the deciding frame. Got to be said though, these two players, they've both gone for their shots, they haven't been negative in any way in this match. Dot bringing the last safe red off the cushion here.
Wow, he could not have got any closer without the red dropping. And because of that, it's not come too far away from the pocket. So Lee Han gets another chance to win this match. Dot went for broke. The red just stayed out. Well, this is not guaranteed. He's 14 in front. Almost okay. feels like the crunch ball now, this red. If it goes in, he'd fancy him to win. If he misses, it could be another chance for Dot. So, big shot, this red. Oh, didn't he pot it well? Very cleanly potted. Blue puts him 20 in front, so he needs yellow and green as well to win his third match of the day. Remember, he's never played in Championship League snooker before. He was a late call-up because of various withdrawals. But my word, he has uh, grasped the chance with both hands. Night. Well, he didn't pull the white back as far as intended, but as I say, just needs the green and Dot needs a snooker. So just needs to focus on potting this. He'll be 25 in front with 22 on if it goes in. Well, Dot will obviously play on if he misses the brown, so still needs this in as well, and then that should be it. It's been a high-quality match, this. Entertaining, they've both attacked, they've gone for their shots. And they potted plenty between them, including that brown, which seals victory for Li Hang. So what a start yeah. for the Chinese to Group 6 of Championship League. is three out of three, top of the table. And is really impressed so far. 33. 
that's actually it for him today. He's got no more matches to play. Be back tomorrow for three more. Graham Dot plays Judd Trump tonight on table two. 39. Great. So he took the match out very nicely there. Lee Hang, three points out of three for him.